So this study was motivated by a very practical question. We often start medicines either to prevent illness or to treat disease, but frequently don't know when to discontinue medicines, especially medicines for long-term problems like comorbid illnesses, high blood pressure, lipids, and those kinds of things. And for people who have very advanced illness, less than a year to live, one of the critical questions is which medic medicines can we discontinue and do so safely? When we surveyed over 5,000 palliative care doctors uh, across the United States, we asked, is this an important question? And in fact, they told us it was indeed an important question and half continued and half discontinued medicines. When we asked what was the most common medicine for which they were trying to figure out, should they continue or discontinue, they said statins. And we said, well, that should be the one we try and figure out first. Yeah. So in this study, what we practically asked is for people who have an anticipated life expectancy of a year or less and have been taking for statin medications for primary or secondary prevention, so to reduce their cholesterol and reduce the impact of potential heart disease and stroke. The question was whether or not we could safely discontinue statins and not ha cause any harm in terms of reduced survival. So this was a pragmatic randomized control trial participating patients had their statins either discontinued or continued and we monitored for mortality and then also for important secondary side effects secondary um, outcomes like quality of life and satisfaction with care what we found was that indeed discontinuing statins did not cause harm in terms of reduction in 60 day mortality and there was no difference in terms of overall survival but there were very important secondary outcomes. So people who had their statins discontinued had improvements in their quality of life, which was statistically significant and clinically meaningful. There was a trend towards reduced overall symptoms. There was a trend towards um, improved satisfaction with care. And the other thing is that there was a reduction that was statistically significant and the total overall number of medicines even beyond just discontinuing the statin. The other thing that we looked at was what's the impact of cost? And what we found was that, indeed, if you discontinue the medication, the statin medication, that reduces daily cost. And that when you think about how many people are already taking statins and do so in the last year of life, the financial impact for the United States is probably about $600 million a year. When we looked at usual surveys to try and study quality of life, what we saw was that the people who had their statins discontinued did report improved overall quality of life. And one of the things we often wonder is by talking to somebody about discontinuous statin, were we going to create increased worry or sense of um, being nervous about something being harmful or what this means? And what we found was that there was not an increased amount of worry, anxiety, or depression. And for those medicines like statins where you're told you're going to be taking this for the rest of your life, people did they were able to understand that it makes sense to start discontinuing those medicines in the advanced phases of illness. Practically speaking, the clinical implications are that doctors and patients together can feel more confident about making a decision to discontinue statins in the end of life setting. This is still a patient-centered decision. I think that doctors and patients need to talk, but they now have information to inform that discussion. Polypharmacy, 10 or more medicines, is very common in the end of life, and in fact, 10 medicines was the average number in this study. This study sets up a platform where we can now ask sequential questions about discontinuing other medicines. Bisphosphonates, for example, which are often given for bone health, anticoagulants, etc. The bottom line take home message is that for people who've got a prognosis of a year or less and are taking statins for primary or secondary prevention, there's not any increased harm to discontinuing statins and in fact maybe improved quality of life benefits. This is a patient-centered decision.